Hello guys, this is Manny and Diana Ortuno with Simply Inland Empire giving you another property tour. Okay folks, so as your local realtors, we're gonna give you a quick tour of this beautiful house that has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,898 square feet. So come inside, let's take, let's take a look at it. We also wanted to mention that this home is located in the Wolf Creek neighborhood, which is located right across the street from Pachanga off of Temecula Parkway. This home is located at 32066 Live Oak Drive in Temecula. So now we're entering the entryway. So do you wanna go ahead, Manny, and explain? Okay, this is a small, entry but it opens up to your backyard so you have access quickly into your backyard which we'll see that in a few minutes so let's go to the front door and see this house so as we come into the left here this is what our formal living room and basically we want to see what you we want you guys to see what we're seeing here so here's the whole living room. Nice, big, great windows looking to the backyard. Wood floors and um, high ceilings. I would say, what are these? Uh, these 15 feet high ceilings. Okay, so straight ahead, we have the kitchen. And this is a huge island. Looks like it could fit at least, what, six bar stools here? Made in, and you can see the island is made out of granite. This is a different island. Typically they're like just square. And then here's the whole uh, kitchen here. It has the darker finish. A little bit of backsplash here by the, by the oven or stove. And then you have your microwave, oven, and um, and these are stainless steel. Okay, so now this is the formal dining room. And you can see they have a lot of windows. It's pretty good size. As a matter of fact, it's a little bit bigger than in your average formal dining room. And you do have access, a double door to your backyard. Now we're gonna Take a quick peek at the backyard. The first thing that you see as you come out is a cover patio. And it goes for about 25 yards deep and probably about 12 wide. And this is your backyard. What I like about the backyard is the, the vinyl fencing. You don't have the wood that's gonna corrode or fade. Um, your neighbors are actually you got a lot of room, good sized backyard, even if you wanted to add a pool back here. So to the left over here is your side yard, which leads to the front, which is your courtyard. Okay, now we're going back to the house. You have a double door, French door. We are going to go to the laundry room and your garage. So here is your laundry room, a very good size. I would say probably 11 by six. It does have your personal sink. Storage. Storage. And now just quickly, I wanted to point this out. There is there is your kitchen, and then this is your pantry. Now that's a huge walk-in, multi-shelves, a lot of room for any kind of storage in there, especially if you purchase stuff from Costco. Okay, now let's check out the garage. Okay. Here's your garage. You do have a door that gives you access to your backyard. Waterless um, 
or I'm sorry, uh, what is that? Tankless water heater? Yep. And this is your door. I just want to give you a quick peek so you can take a look. Okay. Now, what I like about this garage is really cool. You would think that it was a two car garage, but if you remember, the, uh, as you were coming in, they had a side garage. So they put a wall here and they divided the third car garage. And we're walking into the third car garage. There's your door. And there's your third car garage. So this could be used as a third car garage or even a, a workshop. Storage workshop. Okay. Okay, so you enter back in through the kitchen, the pantry. If you go to the left, it leads you back out the kitchen and living room area. Now to the left here is a downstairs bathroom. And right here we have a, a closet. Okay, so the downstairs bathroom, um, nice big sink area. And here's your um, shower area with tile. So as you come back out, if you come back, there's a downstairs either. There's a bedroom because there's a closet here. But it looks like it could also work as an office, giving access to that bathroom. So if you circle around, it comes back out, which leads to the living room, this circle entryway. And now we can head on upstairs. As we head upstairs, you will find three bedrooms. Okay, to your right, there are two bedrooms and a bathroom in between them. Now the first bedroom, it's pretty good size. It's probably about 13 by 10. And it's the only bedroom that has access to a balcony. If you remember when you first saw the house from the outside, it had a balcony. So now we are walking out to the balcony from one of the bedrooms upstairs. So this gives you a view pretty much of the mountains. Pachanga is to the right. Okay, so here is your closet and access to your own bathroom from this room as well. There you go. So the other bedroom does not have access to the bathroom. You have to come out and go into the bathroom, but this bedroom did have access to it. So that's kind of cool for a guest or in-laws or anybody who wants a little privacy. So let's go look at this bedroom, which will be the second bedroom upstairs. As you can see, all the walls are white, so it can be painted to anyone's taste. Um, flooring is white carpet as well, which is, is brand new. Okay, so now we are going to go to bedroom number three, which is the master bedroom. So here we go. As you walk in, it's a gorgeous bathroom. It does have a dual sink and it also has a vanity, a humongous tub where you can have are there jets in the tub no there's no jets on the tub but it is pretty big it's decorated you can put candles around the outside just rest and relax 
Now, the master bedroom is huge. That's one of the big pluses that people like about this house. Let me give you a quick tour of this master closet. closet. There you go. I know you probably can't see the size, but I can tell you this, it's definitely probably 12 by 12. Now, as you come out of the master closet, there's your shower. And it does have a place where you can sit inside your shower. And of course, this is your potty area, the toilet. So that is your master bathroom. Pretty good size, really nice. Now, here is the actual room. A lot of windows. It's pretty good size. I would say probably 14 by 16 is my guess. I, ha I haven't actually measured it, but that's what the size it looks like to me. So as you come out of the master bedroom, to the left here, not sure if we mentioned this, but here's some storage, keep towels and other kind of linens. And then before you go downstairs, there's kind of just this, I don't know, I, I, I think it's kind of a, just a dead area. It's probably five by four no five by ten maybe oh that way yeah. yeah and then it also has hookups for uh computer so it might be a place where you can put a desk and a computer uh for someone to do some either business or homework okay so here's the view as you look as you go downstairs okay so that was the tour of the house so now let's head over to the clubhouse So here's a view of the street from the front yard. Again, to the right is Pachanga. So we have some mountains over there. Great Oak would be uh, straight ahead to, I guess, what it was at the east. And then here's a street view as well. the clubhouse there on the left so let's go inside and check it out this community this master plan community wolf creek does have hoas with that you will get a clubhouse as you can see this is the wolf creek community center and there it is straight ahead and i wanted to show you the other side i'm not sure if you can see it with the sun but right across the street within walking distance is pechanga so you are close to entertainment, fun, dining. So let's take a look at this community uh, clubhouse and see what it has to offer. Now we are at the front of the clubhouse. The hours here are 8 a.m. to 9.45 p.m. You'll have access to the pool and spa. It does need a key fob to get inside. It also offers a gym to do some exercising. So I'm not sure if you can see it from here. I do not have a key fob, so I cannot get in, but it's really nice. I think you enjoy it. The HOAs are $50 a month, which to me, I think it's a bit low, which is a great deal. Right next to the clubhouse, there's also a small playground. If you have small kids that wanna go out there and play, they can go out there as well. Next to the clubhouse, there is a small park that offers uh, a sit down for a barbecue. It also has another barbecue sit down with a cover patio type thing that I think is pretty cool. And here is your kids playground that they can have a good time, slide, climb, jump around. and. 
there's another table with another barbecue option if you like to cook some food come out here with the family relax and enjoy the day okay guys hope you like the tour please don't forget to leave your comments below also uh, I will be here on Saturday and Sunday both days from 11 to 3 I will be doing an open house so come by and say hello hopefully well, you can make it out here and don't forget this is Manny and Diana giving you simply Inland Empire your local realtors.